Hi everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna to give you an exercise to help with your neck pain, upper shoulder pain, and even arm symptoms. So a lot of times when you have neck pain, you might hear to stretch at your neck side, hold it for 30 seconds, and go side to side to help relieve the tension. I'm gonna add something more to that. There's something key that I wanna show you. You see that diamond part? That is where a key fascia transition, I say highway in the back of your neck that uh, helps you transmit force, stress, tension. And the reason why you have a lot of tension there is because that is congested. There's a traffic jam, 405 to the 10 freeway. That's where it's at right there. If I peel back some of that muscle, you can see under it is where all this muscle, see, it connects to that. If I peel back more, it's just all right there. Now, if I go to the front, if I take away all the muscles, okay, you can see that there's a lot, the yellow are nerves, and the red are arteries and veins, and you can see that right around the front neck, it splits and cross, it goes down under the clavicle, down your arm. Now, those are very key important structures you want to address because your body will always protect your nerves, your circulation, and if I added lymph nodes, a lot of lymph nodes, and a third of our lymph nodes are in our neck and head. And so we want to address that so then your body can have more oxygen, circulation, and have a better ability to self-heal itself. Then a stretch strengthening protocol will help. So I have a, a belt here, you can use a towel. Very simple, I gave this to a client who just had neck surgery, we couldn't do much, and so all she did with this, and it helped relieve her arm pain uh, that was due to a nerve issue um, that was very intense and we couldn't do much, and this is one of the exercise that she did. So you get a belt, and you're gonna loop around here, right at that junction, so it's gonna go right under your armpit, and right over your neck. And you see, if I loop around, it goes right at that diamond, that fascia, cervical thoracic fascia area. All you're gonna do is just, just um, do this, floss. Then you change the angle, and you just do that. All right, you can go down, and you can go at different angles and play around with that. Um, then you switch, and you do the same thing. And you just do that at different angles, try to get the whole diamond right here. And in addition to that, you want to start freeing up congestion right here with very light. We're not talking about deep pressure because light is what is needed to help improve and allow your body to relax better, which is counterintuitive to the deep tissue because deep tissue is more for uh, improving circulation at a deeper muscle level. We're not talking about that. Um, so what you want to do is at that where the junction where the nerve uh, breaks and the arteries and veins, you want to hold now from the bottom and just uh, focus on uh, light uh, rubbing in the front. All right, and you can go down here, and then and so for your armpit area, you want to put it up here, the strap here, and right here, and you just pull. All right, so actually it's better if you crisscross it, because then the crisscrossing will get more of that rubbing sensation at the armpit where the nerve breaks out here. Then afterwards, what you can do is just start tapping. So tapping will help improve circulation. We're talking about light one, not where you're doing it to uh, cause bruising and pinkness. And right here, so you wanna tap it in that direction to allow circulation and relax the fascia to this. Then what you're gonna do, so that should take about 30 seconds to go through one arm, 30 seconds through the other arm. Then you go through your typical physical therapy stretching by grabbing your neck gently and pulling it to the opposite side. Focus on breathing, stretching out your upper trapezius and the vader scap muscle. Um, then the other common exercise you're gonna get is bring your chin to one armpit and pull it that way. So the other one was chin to one armpit and then chin to the other armpit. Pulling it for 30 seconds, breathing through your stomach so you can feel a nice gentle stretch with inhalation versus force. 
Lastly, what you want to do to improve on that strength is to build strength at your rotator cuff and your neck. So with your rotator cuff exercise, what you're going to do is lay on your side here, and grab a dumbbell, and do 20 reps of this. All right. And then for your neck, you're going to get your fingers, and you're going to pull your chin to your throat, okay, causing a double chin, and your hands are trying to pull you away, so that's the resistance. So you're pulling it down towards the throat, causing double chin, and your hand, your palms are the resistance to that. So in summary, you floss back here, you floss right here, you floss right here for 30 seconds to a minute. Then you're going to do your stretching, 30 seconds, chin towards one side, chin towards the other side, using inhalation versus force. 30 seconds each, so that's another minute. Then you're going to do lay on your side, grab a weight, can, or one, two pound, and do 20 reps of that. Then making yourself a double chin and resisting that motion. Hold up for 30 seconds. To so that's the sequence, that's the flow to help with your neck, upper, shoulder pain, discomfort, tension. So please share this video. Uh, let me know, comment below how you feel, and see you next video.